I'm in LA right now for Anime Expo, so forgive the setup. But this chapter is great. We're seeing Bakugo and the rest of the team that's at the floating UA fortress right now, taking on Shigaraki slash all for one, who's like freaking out Tetsuo style. And Bakugo's getting like a power up in this chapter for sure, you know, through an arsenal upgrade. And it's pretty satisfying to see. I'm like a big fan of Bakugo. But unfortunately, we're like moving away from the all for one stuff that was being touched on in the previous chapter, where he may or may not have been using a variant of Ares quirk that Yujiko possibly backward engineered from the quirk destroying bullets. But anyway, like I said, Shigaraki's body is like freaking out right now. As we saw before, he's become like a mass of fingers and hands and just flesh. So much so that they can't even pinpoint like his actual body. And Edshot winds up hitting him with a named move called the Shattering Paper Thread. And he says, how could this not be a quirk? You said this was just a natural growth, but that's impossible. So this is kind of like a rehash of what happened in chapter 347, the last time that we were like primarily focusing on this fight. And Shigaraki at that point said that, yeah, bro, it's not a quirk. My body has been altered to accommodate this power. And I guess it wasn't good enough for Edshot because he's getting re-educated here. But All For One is taking over Shigaraki's body this time and explaining it himself. And he says, believe it or not, that's how it is. As the All For One quirk settles in, various external factors and the swarm of quirks have combined molding this body into a suitable accommodation. So yeah, Yujiko realized that All For One was becoming too powerful and that his current body that he had wouldn't be able to contain the power that he was receiving. So they would have to develop a new vessel for him. And long story short, they eventually came up with this plan to make Shigaraki the new vessel and Yujiko wound up modifying his body so that he would be able to contain all of the theoretical power that All For One would eventually have. And that's what we get here. His body freaking out and becoming this big amorphous mess is kind of just a side effect of a vessel that is capable of containing all of this power. But going further, he says, with this body and its power, I shall create a new world. I'll become God and rule above everyone else. A world so divided that standards cease to exist for human bodies and abilities is doomed to collapse and disappear. Our confrontation is but a product of that world. At least under my control, everyone will be equal in oppression. Isn't that a step towards the peace you heroes want? Also guys, if you like my My Hero content, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's fine if you don't want to, but if you just needed a reminder, here you go. So a few things to break down here. Overall, what he's saying here is what his ultimate goal is, to become like this all-reliant global dictator, I guess. And that goes back to what Aoyama was telling Izuku at the beginning of this arc, where he wants everyone to like rely on his quirks and abilities for like their utilities and just the means of survival, essentially. But also the line about a world so divided that standards cease to exist for human bodies and abilities is doomed to collapse and disappear. I assume he's talking about the quirk singularity which essentially means that as time goes on and quirks become more powerful and mixed together through, you know, hereditary means and whatnot, humanity will like essentially self implode. Whether it takes like 100 years or 300 years or whatever, it's eventually going to happen. And also judging from the line where he says everyone will be equal in oppression, this could mean that he wants to monopolize quirks as well, meaning that like he uses his ability to take everyone's quirks. So he's the only human left with quirks. And that is a way to stop the quirk singularity. So all for one, while he is, you know, the typical take over the world villain here, there is a little bit of altruism sprinkled in there for sure. And I theorize that this is essentially how the the series kind of has to end one way or another. And I thought Izuku was eventually going to do this. I figured that, you know, it's possible that some way he's going to get the all for one quirk and then take all the quirks on earth or something like that. Because if he doesn't, or if someone doesn't, then the quirk singularity is kind of bound to happen. And also speaking of the quirk singularity, that's kind of what we're seeing in real time here with Shigaraki's big flesh amalgamation. In theory, everyone could wind up looking like this in time. And if it's not this that causes the end of humanity, just everyone all tetsuoing out together, there could just be Ares being born, where their quirks are just not destroying their immediate vicinity, but they're destroying like five mile radiuses at a time or whatever. But anyway, Bangugo's had enough of this, and he's like, given how much I've been moving around, it must be charged up. With this item from the support course, I will clear a path. And then he says, area suppressing heavy armor activated, strafing Panzer and we see Bakugo's new support item. And this is amazing. And it's like multiple cannons mounted on his back.
back. And it looks like it activates with the same kind of suppression technology that Izuku's gauntlets have, which is uh, support tech from America. We're not gonna mention Melissa or David Shield for some reason, even though they're technically canon. But I'm assuming that these work the same way that his gauntlets do and probably have a similar level of power. And also him saying, giving how much I've been moving around, it must be charged up. Moving around, building up sweat, that's going to be the ammunition for these things because you know his sweat contains nitroglycerin, it's his quirk. And he says, we'll crush the main body together while he's like firing in 360, destroying as much of the flesh as he can. Mirko's like, he's finally learned the art of teamwork, huh? So simply just saying that, you know, we'll crush the main body together and doing what Bakugo normally does is him learning the art of teamwork. Then we see the other heroes who are working with them at this point, like Monoma and Aizawa shutting down all of Shigaraki's quirks so that he's only relying on the flesh mass. Kaminari and select other students are like using their electric quirks to power the UA fortress so that it can stay elevated. And Momo and Lunch Rush are working together to like produce pieces of like the platform and whatnot. And also I realized that Lunch Rush's quirk has never been revealed and we may never know what it is, unless it's revealed in like a data book that comes out after the series is over. I assume it has something to do with food production. But Bakugo is essentially coming full circle here because he's remembering when Izuku had initially saved him and his character arc is coming to light. And he says, misunderstandings in turn give rise to fear and rejection. You're gonna tell me about misunderstandings, fear and rejection? I accepted all that long ago, but I didn't just accept it. I'm way over it. I found people who are willing to put all that aside and move forward no matter what it may take. And then the chapter ends with him hitting Shigaraki slash all for one with his new ultimate attack maybe, which is called the Howitzer Impact Cluster Bomb. And this is just an upgrade to the Howitzer or impact, which is like, aside from the United States of Smash, my favorite move in the series. I love this so much. It not only looks great, but the application of it totally makes sense. And the overall result of it is just amazing. And it's, you know, Bakugo. We saw him use this in the sports festival against Shoto, but I don't think he's done it in like the manga slash anime's continuity after that. We've seen him do it in like two of the movies, but maybe that's why he did it because it's like way too powerful for him to use it outside of those continuities. But yeah, like I said, that's where the chapter ends and we don't get to see the full result of it yet But you know in the next chapter we will unless they cut back to the all for one stuff But let me know what you think about this chapter in the comments guys And if you liked the video, please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already have a great day And I'll see you in the next one